All right, now finally, Samsung has unveiled the latest Galaxy watches, the Galaxy Watch 6 and the Watch 6 Classic. And isn't it exciting to see the classic rotating bezel coming back on the watch this year? Now you must be one of those interested in buying one of the Watch 6 series and contemplating which one to buy. Whether to go for Watch 6 regular or Watch 6 classic and which size should you be buying. So this video is going to help you in your buying decision. So keep watching the video. As soon as I get the delivery of these watches, I will post more contents on them. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. Let's first talk about the design of these watches. The Galaxy Watch 6 Classic is the most beautiful looking watch when compared to the Watch 6 Regular and this watch will go well with both formal and casual attire. The rotating bezel gives it a premium look and it's quite functional as well as you navigate through the contents by rotating the bezel. Whereas the Watch 6 Regular is clean, simple, subtle and sporty and this goes well with smart casuals and casual attire but with formals you may not prefer wearing it. I don't mean to say that it won't look good, but it may not be the best for formal. Having said all this, the design matter is subjective and you can choose the one depending on your preferences. But if you ask me, I would prefer the classic compared to the regular. Now let's talk about the most important aspect of these watches, that is the battery life. Samsung says all these watches will last up to 40 hours which is about one and a half days of battery life. I was expecting a bigger battery on the classic series and expected it to last longer like the Watch 5 Pro, but maybe due to the space consumed by the rotating bezel, the battery performance is similar to the Watch 6 regular and also it's similar to the Watch 5 regular and Watch 4 classic. So at least for now, it looks like there is no major leap in battery performance on any of these watches, especially the classic, which will also offer similar battery life. But when we compare bigger variants with the smaller variants, the bigger sizes should offer a slightly better battery performance. Now, when it comes to the performance of these watches, all the variants come with the latest chipset, so the performance will remain the same across all these watches, so it doesn't really matter much. Compared to the previous gen watches, the Watch 6 should be able to open the apps faster and respond faster to the touch. The RAM and ROM should also be same in all these watches. So again, in this area, there is not much of a difference among these watches. Now, let's talk about the sizes. When it comes to the display size, always go with the larger variant as long as it suits your wrist. If you are considering classic variant, go for 47mm. And if it's regular variant, go for 44mm as these larger sizes packs slightly larger battery resulting in longer battery life. And the larger screen real estate makes it easier to see contents and easier for touch interactions on the display. Of course, it depends on the wrist size as well. On the wrist size, anything above 15 centimeter, the larger variants would look fine. As you can see, I have a 15 centimeter wrist size and I'm wearing a Galaxy Watch 5 Pro 46 mm and it looks perfectly fine on my wrist. If you're still skeptical about selecting the right fit for you, I would suggest you to visit a nearby Samsung store and try any of these sizes on your wrist and take a call on this. The health-centric features offered such as improved sleep tracking, heart rate monitor, ECG, blood pressure monitoring, activity tracking, etc. are available on all these models. And the smart features such as calling, messaging, etc. are also available on all these models. But when it comes to Bluetooth and LTE variants, you can select the one based on your requirements. I will post a separate video about Bluetooth and LTE variants of these watches. So if you are confused about which one to pick, stay tuned for the video that will come up very soon. Now when it comes to sensors, all the models, the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic as well as the Watch 6 Regular have Samsung's bioactive sensor which is used for the optical heart rate, electrical heart signal, bioelectrical impedance analysis and then temperature sensor is also available. We have accelerometer, barometer, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, light sensor, 3D hall sensor, etc. All these sensors are available on all these models. So considering all these features and specifications, we don't see much of a difference between these watches. So now the decision depends on how much you are willing to spend. First, let's understand the pricing here. The Galaxy Watch 6 Classic 43mm variant with Bluetooth connectivity will cost you about $399. Then we have got the 47mm variant which will cost you $429. And when it comes to the regular Watch 6 series, the 40mm Bluetooth only variant will cost you $299 and the 44mm variant will cost you $329 for the Bluetooth only variant. Of course, the LTE pricing will be slightly more than this. Now, in terms of pricing, there is a difference of $100 between the Watch 6 Classic and the 6 Regular. Now, the important thing to understand here is 
the delta between these watches in terms of features is less than the delta between these watches in terms of price. So as long as you're fine with the design of the watch 6 regular, I would suggest you to go with it as it is going to save you some money and yet offer everything which the watch 6 classic offers. But if you want that premium look and feel with that stainless steel material and classic rotating bezel, then the watch 6 classic is the choice for you. Do keep in mind that this time the rotating bezel is thinner on the classic so the watch may not be as chunky as before but the size is one millimeter bigger this time offering a bigger screen so classic is going to be my choice you let me know which one would you prefer have you already placed a pre-order do let me know in the comment section below and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel to know your phone and galaxy watch better i've already placed the orders for the watches so i will be getting it probably in the next one or two weeks and as soon as I get it, I will be posting some useful content for you guys. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.